hello everybody god bless you and welcome back to my youtube channel if you are new here welcome and if you have been with us for a while then welcome back before we go ahead and jump into today's video i need you guys to make sure that you are subscribed if you have been watching and you're not subscribed go ahead and subscribe join our family make sure you like if you found this content interesting be sure to leave a comment in the comment section i love to engage and respond to your comments also feel free to go ahead and hit the share button so that way we can continue to grow and be a blessing to more persons all right so thank you guys so much for that today i apologize once again this is an unedited video so please go ahead and bear with me no before i jump into the video please be reminded that we have a special for school of the prophet we have a very special that's going on where all our courses are for a hundred dollars so if you believe that god is calling you to be a prophet you're not sure what next what do i do how do i understand my call the ministry what do i do from here you can register for our four weeks course which is only a hundred dollars for the entire course there's no additional cost if you are interested in deliverance ministry you can register only at a hundred dollars so our prophetic course our deliverance course our supernatural course and our angiology course they're all for a hundred dollars so whichever you feel that god is calling you to you can register for only a hundred dollars this offer lasts until the 25th of july which is monday so you literally have one more day to go ahead and register to get our special after the 25th we're going back to the original cost if you are interested please go ahead the contact information is in the description box so you can go ahead and send an email or call the office and we will be more than happy to provide you with more information as i mentioned before that this video is unedited you are going to see the true realest side of me no edits no anything at all i have been completely swamped busy tired you name it i'm hoping to launch or to open our actual bible school that we will start offering certain certificate courses for september more so in a couple of days or perhaps a couple of weeks you guys will definitely see me launching our certificate courses in evangelism christian ministry christian leadership if you want to be a pastor your leader wants to ordain you to a higher level of you know ministration in church then you can definitely go ahead and you know register for some of these certificate courses i will be providing you with more information in a very short space of time so guys please bear with me for the unedited videos but um that's what i wanted to share with you so without any further ado Let's go ahead and jump into today's video, all right? All right, so we don't have any rolling of clip of clips for today because this is not edited but based on the title of this video you guys can see that i'm going to be sharing with you um at least 17 signs that there is a serious dangerous um witchcraft that is being fought against you physical signs that there's witchcraft that is being fight like fought against your life i have done videos prior where i have shared with you dreams that will help you to identify that you know someone is using or working spiritual witchcraft against you but no i'm going to take it a bit further a step further to share with you some physical signs oftentimes we see things happen around us things that may seem a bit crazy but we do not necessarily pay much attention to it oftentimes we, we think it is probably by you know just mere coincidence you know just it just happens randomly but we have to be very alert very alert in the room of the spirit very swift in the room of the spirit to be able to identify with these things all right so before i share these i want you to know that you do not have to be afraid if any of these things happen to you the Bible declares that God did not give you a spirit of fear, but of love, power, and of a sound mind, right? So you do not have to fear anything at all. And at the end, I'll share with you how you can fight and combat these things. Thessalonians, Thess Thess Thessalonians 3. 2 to 3 declares and pray that we may be delivered from wicked and evil people for not everyone has faith but the Lord is faithful and he will strengthen you and protect you from the evil one Psalm 27 1 to 3 declares the Lord is my light and my salvation he is my stronghold the stronghold of my life whom shall I fear so you do not have to fear these things I know it can be scary I know it can be spooky but the Lord does not want you to fear because there's greater in you than he that is in the world all right so the first sign of physical witchcraft that has been worked against your life is having headaches it's kind of a physical thing so if you begin to experience you know crazy headaches constant headaches or certain types of headaches for a lot of people it's not just a physical or a or a medical condition a sign that witchcraft is being fought against you is headaches for some persons it happens somewhat like at the back of your neck for other persons perhaps different areas but headache is definitely a sign of spiritual witchcraft if you have certain types of foot pain that is a sign of spiritual witchcraft that 
that is being worked against your life where your feet begin to hurt you perhaps you begin to have swelling in your feet it is a sign that spiritual witchcraft is being worked against your life I know some of you probably would have experienced other physical signs but you can definitely leave them in the comment section if I leave out anything these signs they are not all they do not include all they can be less or more but whatever it is I'm sharing with you what I know from my encounters with demonic spirits and delivering persons and just testimonies and all that I have experienced throughout my entire walk in ministry not that these have happened to me personally but from deliverance of other people and so on and so forth just the knowledge of the Holy Spirit I'm able to share this with you so you guys can definitely leave in the comment section some of the things that you have encountered or you know of someone who have actually encountered so you have headache you have foot ache there are persons who go through being lightheaded or having dizzy spells so dizzy spell is definitely a sign of spiritual witchcraft that is being worked against someone if you have if you have been or if you are experiencing a heavy um or a dizzy spell it is a sign that you have been that it is a sign that spiritual witchcraft is being worked against you and you definitely have to begin to pray and fight against this by the power of the holy spirit so witchcraft can definitely cause dizzy spells or lightheadedness witchcraft can often also cause mental harassment so when spiritual witchcraft is being worked against your life it can begin to you you can definitely begin to literally hear people calling you voices calling you so if your name is Charmaine sorry if any of you name is Charmaine if your name is Charmaine you may actually begin to hear people saying Charmaine Charmaine we're going to kill you I don't know if you guys can hear me but they'll begin to whisper things you know they'll begin to call your name and whisper things such as I'm going to kill you I'm going to hurt you and so on and so forth we have to be very equipped to be able to identify these things and shut them down in the powerful name of Jesus Another sign of spiritual witchcraft that, that is being worked against you is a certain sicknesses and ailments. So a lot of people who go through spiritual who go through spiritual witchcraft attacks uh, physically it can affect you physically where you may begin to feel sick and have certain types of sickness there's some people who constantly throw up there's some people who are nauseous there's some people who just begin to lose weight to begin to get dark in terms of a change of complexion in their skin there are many different ways in which in which witchcraft spiritual witchcraft can affect you physically by causing you sickness there are some people that completely lose their appetite they stop eating they begin to lose a lot of weight their complexion begins to change some person's sores begin to come upon their body there are different things that can happen that causes sickness as a result of spiritual witchcraft that is being worked against your life all right so another sign of physical witchcraft that is being worked against your life is your hair falling out there are definitely some people who go through spiritual wickedness warfares and their hair begin to fall out for no reason it's not it's not some medical issue but literally their hair do begin to fall out you have to be mindful and equipped when you see these things happening there are other persons who are being attacked by spiritual warfare where they begin to experience strange animals just showing up at their place of residence or their place of work so if you are experiencing just some random strange animals just showing up at your place uh, animals such as weird lizards you know frogs you live in an apartment complex or something like that and you're not experiencing expecting to see a frog but you see a frog show up perhaps it's in your house how did the frog get into your house you know you're seeing some some different types of bats or whatever it is you know blackbirds vultures just just appearing on your vehicle at your work at your home at just random periods random um, places that you would have never expected it it's definitely a sign of spiritual witchcraft and you have to begin to pray and pray seriously all right so if you see strange animals showing up begin to pray Another physical sign of witchcraft being worked against your home is images being imprinted on the wall. So these are physical signs that you can actually see or feel within your body. So if you begin to see images that's actually being formed or etched out into your wall, like carvings or how should I put it, like carvings or something just being imprinted on your walls, you have to begin to pray. Imprints or, or carvings or images such as faces, animals, you know, codes, numbers, 
um symbolic things you have to be mindful of this this can definitely be a sign of physical witchcraft that is being used against your life we're gonna share on how we can combat and pray against this all right if you have experiences with not just seeing images or carvings being imprinted or engraved upon your wall you perhaps may experience weird sounds in your home so if you experience weird sounds in your home like you're hearing creaks you're hearing whispers laughter chatter or growls you know anything that is scary anything along that line it's definitely a sign that spiritual witchcraft is being worked against your life and you have to begin to pray especially if you're home alone and you're home alone or everyone is sleeping or you're living alone and there's no one there and there's no way the TV's off there's no way that you should expect that you know you would hear strange sounds or strange noises in your house you have to begin to pray this is definitely a manifestation or a sign of spiritual witchcraft being worked against your life all right the other one number 10 is weird activities in your home weird activities in your home it sounds scary sounds like something that would definitely spook you out but remember god did not give us a spirit of fear but of power love and a sound mind there's greater in you than he that is in the world god has given you authority and dominion matthew 18 18 says whatever you bind on earth is born in heaven whatever you loose on earth is loosed in heaven and so you have to you have to make sure that you know within yourself that if god be for you then who can be against you there's nothing that shall harm you psalm 91 nothing can harm you so do not be afraid of these things that's what the enemy wants the enemy wants to drive fear in your mind the first thing the enemy does when you begin to go through a warfare a spiritual attack is to cause you to become fearful once you become fearful then he can definitely begin to conquer you because of the fear fear is an open door if you did not know that fear is an open door it's a legal right for the enemy to come in and to attack you so you have to believe that you have power you have a sound mind cast down vain imagination cast down fear so strange activities in your home such as perhaps your lights are flicking on flicking off you know your tv is going on it's going off it's not a malfunction but these things are happening i had this one experience where we went to pray for a lady many many years ago her stove was constantly being turned on and turned off that just does not happen just like that and there were she was experiencing a lot of things a lot of paranormal things that was happening in her home so if you are experiencing any of these you have to begin to pray if you need to get help get help as i said at the end of this video i will definitely be sharing with you guys how you can go ahead to combat and fight against these evil spirits so if you are encountering any form of strange activities where there are people running in your house um you know talking in your house opening and closing your doors turning on and off your light turning on your stove turning on your tap water if you are, are experiencing any of these things you can identify and recognize that there is possibly a spiritual wickedness that is definitely working against your life another one is that was number 10 number 11 is people constantly asking you how are you doing if you are okay if you if if random people who are your enemies not your friends people that you have no actual relation with begin to just come up to you ask you questions such as are you okay how are you doing is everything okay are you sure everything is okay you have to pay attention to this you know how how how, how coincidental is it that you know someone random that you don't talk to that you have no relations with would actually come to you someone who's, who's supposedly an enemy would actually just or even a friend that can actually come up to you and just randomly keep asking you questions are you okay are you sure you're okay you have to be very mindful of this oftentimes people are trying to actually figure out you know if what they're doing is working and you know if they should continue if they should go harder and what is actually happening in your life have to pay attention to this number 12 is scratches and cuts if you are experiencing, you know, going to sleep, waking up, or you're just home and you're experiencing certain paranormal activities, certain witchcraft attacks, where, you know, your skin is, you know, you're getting cuts, you're getting wounds, you're bleeding, you're getting scratches all over yourself, you have to pray. This is definitely a sign of not just demonic attack, but it can definitely be a sign that spiritual witchcraft is being used against your life. If I missed out on anything, guys, please be sure to put it in the comment section. I'm sharing as many things that just came to my mind i'm sure i probably would have missed out on something but i want to highlight to you guys so you can be aware and equipped to learn how to or to know how to fight or when to fight these things so that scratches and codes number 13 is weird objects being placed at your home so 
spiritual witchcraft, demonic spirits and witches, warlocks, they're very they're very crafty, they're very subtle, they're very um they're very brilliant at what they do, you know. We're not just fighting against some people that some some demonic or spirits rather that does not know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. The kingdom of hell is a very strategic kingdom. They know what they're doing. Lucifer is no fool. And so I say this to say that um, they will do things that you may not even understand. So if you experience, you know, broken glasses being left at your home, if you experience, you know, certain animals being placed at your home, you experience candles that are half burnt out, eggs, bottles with red cards and things like these being left at your home, you have to begin to pray. A lot of these things have very specific meanings. I can't tell you what these are unless something happens and the Holy Spirit reveals to me. But for instance, there was this one woman who someone that was working spiritual witchcraft against her usually leave an egg at her doorstep and she stepped over it and her feet literally began to swell up her feet became completely swollen because she stepped over an obia egg and so these are things that definitely happen in a spiritual witchcraft they leave objects at your home that can definitely harm you perhaps um oil or powder you know candles these things they leave these things at your home with the intention of it bringing harm to you if you experience your clothes physically going missing or any position that you have literally going missing is a sign of spiritual witchcraft being worked against your life so if your shoes went missing if your shoes went missing your clothes went missing especially if it was not placed in a place if it wasn't um you know put in a place where someone can actually come and take it up is a sign of spiritual witchcraft number 15 is when weird person starts staring at you at your home or work so if you see a random weird person just you know comes up stands at your house and is just staring at you staring at your home for no reason someone is out your gate just staring at your home you're parked somewhere a random person is just staring at you it's not just a spiritual thing where it's a spiritual spirit but a literal person is standing monitoring and staring at you you have to begin to pray it's a sign of spiritual witchcraft two more that i'll share with you is number 16 um what is this okay I'm sorry this is so unedited so if you have enemies or someone that you are not aware some that you don't know just randomly comes to you that wants to give you a gift or to give you presents or something along that line you have to be very careful the enemy works in very cunning and sly ways as I mentioned before people will literally come up to you who are working spiritual witchcraft against you they may give it to someone else they may try to give you food or they may try to give you gifts or presents you have to be careful of this and you have to learn how to reject these things use spiritual inside use this and know how to reject certain things that the enemy brings to you also number 17 is if you begin to experience you know stink or pungent odors if you begin to smell an odor that is stink that is an odor that smells very very awful very disgusting odor that smells really bad it is definitely a sign of spiritual witchcraft that is being worked against your life I'm not sure if I missed out on anything but these are what I had listed so these are definitely a sign cuts bruises images on the wall activities happening in your home people leaving objects things going missing all of these are physical signs of spiritual witchcraft animals showing up in your place i did a video some time ago where this lady her husband was a witch and she would literally have this black vulture this black bird thing that usually just monitors and follows her literally everywhere she goes she would see roaches and insects in her car even in the winter the deepest of winter these things would literally be present wherever she goes and it was definitely a sign that a witch her husband was working against her so do not be do not be oblivious do not be um, ignorant of the devices of the enemy you have to begin to pray some of these things because it be, because it has come to a place of being physical you may have to get your pastor or someone to pray with you get a team to come to your home pray with you if you believe that you can't do it on your own use your psalm 91 use your psalms pray anoint your place get some olive oil consecrated get some water consecrated do whatever it is that you must and pray use the blood of Jesus there's nothing more powerful than the blood and the name of Jesus and God will deliver you the Bible says in Exodus 1 verse chapter 2 as well Exodus chapter 1 and 2 if you call on the name of Jesus when they called on the name of Jesus he came down to deliver them so all you have to do use your Psalm 91 use your other Psalms call the name of Jesus cover your place under the blood of Jesus war put on the whole armor of God Ephesians chapter 6 
and fight against the wiles of the enemy. God will not suffer your foot to be moved. Pray that God will send you angelic assistance and he will definitely deliver you from the works of hell. I'll do a part two and I'll go into more in-depth information on how you can fight against the wiles of the enemy, how you can fight against spiritual wickedness. But I wanted to share these things with you so you're not just seeing a random thing and thinking, oh, this is normal. No, I want you to be aware and equipped aware and alert of the things the wires the devices of the enemy do not do not just see a random cockroach and also think it's a demonic spirit i don't want you guys to be afraid or scared that you see a random bird and think it's spiritual witchcraft no that's just being religious or what no 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 you don't just see a random thing and assume this has to be witchcraft no it doesn't work that way all right so i hope you guys were definitely blessed by this video thank you guys so much for watching please remember go ahead and check out our school of the prophets register if you need to register thank you guys for watching leave a comment in the comment section like if you found this video interesting share with a friend or a family and thank you guys so much for watching i said that before god bless you guys have a wonderful rest of day i just thought i would bless you with a saturday video so god bless you enjoy your weekend have a wonderful rest of day